I'm here Charmed. with my lovely wife who we're wearing Naruto and she's wearing Naruto and she's wearing Naruto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I know. Hello, greetings from the Philippines. Getting a one year contract, you might say to yourself, well, I may not be staying here, I don't know, yeah, I gotta feel how things out first. Okay, so if you're one of those people that you wanna weigh things out first and check it out and see for yourself if it's some place where you wanna stay long term, then that's completely understandable. Then by all means, go ahead. Uh, stick with the Airbnb. That's probably your best source, really, uh, in terms of you know uh, living accommodations for a short period of time. Uh, but what I also wanted to mention too was, for those of you who are going to meet a Filipina and say, "Hey, look, if I like this girl, you know, I'm, I'm going to consider living here." Yeah, that's fine. Um, a lot of mixed messages, like, "Oh, you have to have a lot of money, and uh, you know, if you save twenty thousand dollars." <sighs> I really don't understand like why people just don't think of, okay, well, my sources of income, what were they in the States? I'm not talking about retirees. If you're a retiree, this is not directed at you. I'm talking about the younger generation that's still in the workforce that say, hey, look, you know, I work full time, nine to five. Look for a remote nine to five position job and try to find maybe something that's night shift over there in the States. Why do I say that? Because if you're working night shift over there, let's say on Eastern Standard Time, guess what? You're working daytime here. And believe me, daytime will definitely be a lot easier than doing night shift like I'm doing now. So I would strongly suggest to look for a remote position. If you're a freelancer and you want to earn like 18 to 25 bucks an hour, there are tons of things that you can find online to have sources of income. Now, why do I say online? Because you don't really need to do anything at the office. You can just take your work with you. And um, for those of you who are already working remotely, you take your work with you. And if your company says no, then find a company that doesn't mind you working internationally. You're working remotely. You're still paying your taxes based in the US, but you're working internationally. It's just really trying to utilize your resources. You can use, you can cultivate Indeed, uh, CareerMonsterJobs.com, um, other platforms that you can use, um, you know, CareerBuilders.com. If you can find something working online, and even if it's like maybe 500, 600, or even 700 dollars a week, that's more than enough to live here full time, um, I don't know, maybe uh, you're working, you know, nine to five and uh, you want to stay here six months, wait up and that's fine. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button and subscribe and notifications for more videos to come. Thanks.